We've got illusion and we've got magic. What's up everybody? I am so excited to show you some of my favorite 3D printed illusions today. For the last couple years, I've been really intrigued watching how people are 3D printing a lot of items, including props, small utilities, and a 3D printing company, Lowell'sBot, sent me a bunch of printers earlier this year, so I started really getting involved in the 3D printing process, modeling some of my own items. I stumbled upon some awesome 3D printed illusions, which I'm gonna show you today, starting with one of my favorites. This is one of my favorites right here, and you can see it is an impossible triangle made possible by how you look at the angle. When you line it up correctly, it looks awesome. Speaking of triangles, this is called the Penrose Triangle, and you can see here, if I even just move it slightly, it still looks like all these boxes are connected in that impossible triangle orientation, but immediately when you break it, the illusion from the angle, you know, it, it's shattered. Now, this illusion I actually use as coin holder on my desk. And if you look closely from our lower camera, when you look dead on on the cylinder, it's actually two faces, which you've probably seen illusions of this where the vase is actually a face. It's fun that it's an illusion that also has a little bit of a practical value of keeping change on my desk. There are a lot of items that I 3D print that actually help me in my everyday life. For example, my office doorknob broke and instead of going to the store and spending 25 bucks on a new handle set, I actually 3D printed a little bit of a goofy print which is a cat. And for some reason, yeah. I printed it upside down and now I have an upside down cat as my door handle. Another thing we've been 3D printing a lot are these little GoPro mounts. So when we're doing Nerf battles, which we do a lot of at the studio, you get a pretty cool kill cam shot. Should we get some cool kill cam shots? Yes or no? Yes or no? I say yes. Ben. Oh. This is kind of goofy, but I actually use little stands for some of my devices when I'm in the office. So iPad stand, phone stand. And I actually take these on airplanes a lot too because hard to mount them on the seat back in front of you. Recently, I crashed my RC plane. I actually cracked the, the front plastic piece, so I 3D printed a brand spanking new one in blazing blue color. But then I crashed it again. It's been three crashes in three days. Don't tell Aaron. I needed some light switches, so I switched all of them to Lego base plate light switches. Got a little key holder outside my office. And a simple one that actually has saved my boosted board from getting dinged up is a little front plastic piece. It's this front piece right here. So it helps guard when you're hitting curbs, which actually happens a lot. This next illusion I'm gonna show you involves a gumball that can walk up the stairs. And similar to all the other illusions I've shown you, and when you get the camera at the right spot, you can make it look like the gumball or the marble went up the stairs. It's actually going down. You may be familiar with 3D printing, but if you're not, it's a process where you take a spool of plastic and put it through a very, very hot nozzle that melts it and a computer is telling it how to build the model properly. And it layers the melted plastic all the way from the bed and the base of the printing machine to the end and top of your model. This is a fun illusion because it's several pieces that go together. There's even gears inside that allow this to spin. Let me show you what it does. It somehow defies everything your mind thinks is possible. A straight line going through a curved little silhouette cutout. These have to be some of my all time favorite illusions. They only work in the mirror. All right, so here's how these mirror illusions work. Let's do this one. You've got square in real life and then check out the mirror reflection. You got a circle, that is crazy. What? You got a circle, what? So when you put these circles in the mirror, you get a nice square and a hexagon. Just to prove this is really a reflection. You may know Belgian Ben, and he modeled and 3D printed some custom letters for me. So here's this first one. It says magic to illusion. He also modeled my name, which is pretty sweet, Zach. King, just like that. I'm actually mailing out five of these to people who can finish the treasure hunt that I have linked in the description below. Go to zackkingmagic.com slash treasure hunt. Pause the video and go do it now. 
And if you or one of your friends has a 3D printer and you wanna see where you can get these files, I've got them all linked in the description. They are models that people have uploaded to the internet for others to enjoy and print themselves. So I'm sharing the links all down below. Thanks so much for watching, guys. You rock.